Hello, what's your name? Uh, my name is Philip Ott. And uh, where are we today? Uh, we're in Williams Park in downtown St. Petersburg. And what are we doing today? I'm out here to witness the, uh, the Women's March. Okay, you're here to witness it. Uh, you decided to come out as a male and support the ladies? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Um. <laughs> well, you seem hesitant about that. I mean, uh, you wanted to witness it or did you want to like stand in solidarity? Yeah. Or? Sure, I wanted to stand in solidarity. Okay. Um, what are some of the issues that, um, women's issues that you support that we're all standing up for today? Um, I had an enlightening moment watching C-SPAN with my mother a few weeks ago when they were talking about the Me Too movement. And this is a woman who has been conservative throughout the entirety of her life, and she's watching two people who would self-identify as liberals having a conversation about this. They're talking about how uh, frequently they were harassed in the workplace growing up. And my own mother turns to me and stops and says, this is something every woman of her generation faced in the workplace. And that was like a, an enlightening moment to realize that there is a period in time in which 50% of the human race was subject to sexual harassment or assault in the workplace. And that I found infuriating. Not specifically because it's women, but no matter how you want to divide the species and say that everybody who is black or everybody who is Asian or everybody who is female, just think that that massive subcategory of people is subject to something like that for so long was just infuriating. So that is, a, I don't know, something that I'm especially riled up about. Mm -hmm. And um, how, do you, how do you stay involved and engaged as an as a active community member? Do you, are you involved at all? In uh, mainly in the voting booth and in going ahead and, and having conversations with the people I encounter in day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. People who feel differently, I want to know why. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like actually participating in an organization, I am uh, lamentably not doing that. Um, is there anything else you want to say about your support for the Women's March? Yeah, just that this is exactly, that this should be happening all the time. Like, this is the sort of participatory, demo participatory democracy that is going to create a better society. Mm -hmm. This shouldn't just happen in response to things as horrible as the Trump administration has been doing. This mm -hmm. is, should be a continual part of our American society as events like this. Have you um, had any sort of real conversations with the, your fellow males? Um, as to the Me Too movement, or just in general, about how to, um, oh. I don't know, just any any real conversations with your, your male friends? Yes, but they've been short-lived because we all agree with each other. I wouldn't keep a friendship with somebody who felt differently about something that fundamental. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I'm all for going ahead and like making friends who have different views than I do, but when it comes to things that are pretty meaningless, um, what television shows they like or music they listen to we can disagree on but when it comes to whether or not women should have to face sexual harassment or assault in the workplace i don't think i can maintain a friendship with somebody who felt they should have to mm -hmm. all right well awesome thank you so much philip have a great day yeah you too thank you